it's Peated, it's Sherried, it's Isla, it's Kill Homan, it's the Kill Homan Sanag. I'm looking forward to getting into this one and sharing it with you. I'll be right back. Well, hello there folks and welcome back to The Whiskey Friend with me, Alan. Here we are again, another new whiskey, another peated whiskey, another Isla whiskey, another Kilhoman whiskey. So yeah, it's the Sanag, it's 46% ABV, it's non-chill filtered and it's natural colour. 70% all rose or sherry casks, 30% ex-bourbon casks. So it's right up my street, it's sherried, 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 it's peated and sherried. It's hopefully it's going to be down the same sort of road as the Udi Gal. Uh, I've spent a wee bit of time with this one now, guys, so I'm looking forward to sharing this with you. Look at that fantastic colour, absolutely beautiful, real, real nice, all natural. Had it covered up for the last hour or so, guys. Whiskey Friend coin number one on this one. If you want to pick up some coins and support the channel, guys, I'll drop all the links into the description. Just have a look down there, and you can catch up and find out how to pick up some coins. Um, wow, so yes. Not going to mess around with this one, folks. I'm looking forward to this. I have just done the Kill Home in Batch 3, the UK version Batch 3. This seems to be a little bit different for me. It's my, another Kill Home in of it. It's my third Kill Home in now. Done the Macier Bay. I've done the Small Batch, Batch 3. And now we're tackling this, this Sanag. So, looking forward to getting into it. Let's not mess around. Let's nose it. Taste it. Score it get gone so on the nose folks okay we're straight up front it's the sherry i thought i was going to get pete up front but it's sherry the pete's there but it's in the back it's like a distant smoke in the back so if your neighbors down the road are having a little barbecue or a little bonfire going down the back there then it's it's that kind of distant the sherry's up front the sweetness is up front it's really sherry it's really fruity tropical so tropi some tropical notes i'm picking up some some pineapple yes definitely some pineapple some banana some grape lots of fruit going on the peat is in there it's earthy damp sweet sweet peat little coastal note in there as well so wow but some toffee Lots going on. That coffee is getting a wee bit stronger. The, the fruit is coming out. There's some nice apples. A little bit of dried fruit, maybe. Some dried apricot. Wow. So sweet. Wow. Some red apple. A bit of red fruit. Sultanas. Raisins. Wow, there's loads going on in this nose. It's quite a nice nose, guys. It's more a sherry nose than a peated nose. Peat's in the background, so it's a wee bit more sherry forward. I think that 70% Oloroso is really driving this one. But I don't think this is super, super peaty. I think it's more 20 ppm. Wow. Let's see how it tastes, folks. You know where this one's going? It's going straight down the hatch. Okay, wow, nice arrival, it's a little bit dry on arrival, a little bit sooty, the smoke's more prominent on the palate than it is on the nose, it's making a big appearance now the smoke, it's coming in heavy at the beginning, sooty, a little bit of coastal, it's, it, it's definitely earthy, but once you get past that, Arrival. It's a nice mouthfeel as well. It's not the thickest mouthfeel in the world, but it's got a definitely it's got a real nice texture to it. A little bit dry. A few seconds later, it becomes really mouth watering. That's when the fruit is starting to make an appearance again. So those, maybe some berry fruit, red berries, juicy strawberries, maybe 
Raspberries. Wow. Bit of red, that red apple's there now as well. But the tropical fruit is still there. The banana, the pineapple. Maybe even a little bit of juicy honeydew melon now as well. But the peat is fighting the fruit. So there's a little battle going on between the fruit and the 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 peat. The sherry, the dampness. So there's a little bit of tug of war going on at the minute. Balance is maybe a little bit off. But here comes some dark, beautiful dark chocolate. Let's try a second set. Wow, 46% ABV is good. Yes, it's natural colour. It's non-chill filtered. Tick, tick, tick. Just no age statement yet. I'm not too sure why. I, I've not seen a kill home in age stated whiskey yet. Maybe somebody can dive into the comments and tell me why. Maybe there is one. Maybe I've not just seen it. But I'm, not, I'm definitely having to look round. Dark fruit. Chocolate. Dark chocolate. Pepper. Black pepper. Wow, some orange there, but I think it's it's like the, the dried apricot. It's a bit of dried orange as well. Wow, real, real nice. Balance, again, it's still having that little tug of war. I think my, my experiences with Kill Homing so far, I think it's in the early stages it takes a wee bit of getting used to. It's not quite blown me away yet. Hopefully that will come soon. Sherry's lovely. The Oloroso is great. That mix with the Oloroso and the Sherry, it definitely reminds me of that kind of Ardbeg Udi gal. Down that kind of road. Wow. Let's try a little bit for the finish. Wow. As this whiskey goes on, the peat gets... Stronger and stronger and stronger. There's a little bit on the nose. Going into the palate, it's much more smokier. It's a bit peatier on the palate. And then as it heads towards the finish, the, the smoke is kind of... The smoke's probably winning the battle. It's coming through in the end into the finish. It's salty. It's smoky. It's still a little bit bitter. But it's peaty. That coastal element's there. It's earthy. It's all about on the finish. It's a maybe a kind of medium long finish, but it's all about the peat. It's smoky, it's peaty, it's earthy, it's coastal, but it's sweet. That, that sweet peat's in there. And there's a little bit of sweet vanilla on the end as well. A little bit of chocolate, a little bit of vanilla. The fruit is kind of gone now towards the finish. I think it was mainly through the nose and then and through the development and then the peat, the, the peat kind of took over. So I think the balance is a little bit fruity up front. Pete comes strong on the second half. Wow. Okay, guys, so what are we going to score this one? I'm loving the peat. I'm loving the smoke. I'm loving the Oloroso in this one. That sweet vanilla is getting stronger. Finishes much, much longer than the, the last one I did, which was the Kill Home in uh, Small Batch, Batch 3. This has got a much longer finish. Sherrier. But the peat drives through the finish of this one. So score-wise, I'm going to score this an 89 out of 100, folks, which I think is a fair score. I'm hoping as it goes down, this is going to get better and I'm going to get more into the Kill Homens. I have done a couple of Kill Homens. I will pop links up above where you want to dive in and check out those, those videos. If you want to check out the rest of the videos, guys, I'll put links on the end, so dive in and have a look at them. But if you've liked the video... Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you've subscribed and thank you very much. And just a friendly reminder from me to thee, still doesn't cost you anything. It's still completely free and you're still will help the channel massively on its way to the magical 6K. So guys, dive in, smash those buttons. Don't forget the bell to be kept up to date whenever I'm putting out a new video. And check out the links down below. I've got some videos coming on the end. I've got some, thank you to my Patreon support. The Patreons have been with me through thick and thin. Big thanks to those guys. And that's pretty much for this one. I'm Alan. As always, pleasure is in the sharing. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, man. Bye-bye.